And we're getting a different look at the storm this morning. Meteorologist J Andrew Wilson, excuse me, was out with the hurricane hunters as they flew a mission to Hurricane Joaquin while it was located over the Bahamas. He shares why the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron flies these missions. Uh, long range cruise. 40, 46. 46. Any time that it looks like it's a tropical depression, that it's starting to build up, um, even from just a basic tropical wave, we'll actually go out and uh, fly as a low-level invest into those storms. It was a busy Wednesday for the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, also known as the Hurricane Hunters. They flew a mission through Hurricane Joaquin to get a closer look at the system. There's not as much data out there over the water, so that's why we're out there collecting information on what the storm's doing. Master Sergeant Jeffrey Stack says the data collected is sent to the National Hurricane Center. Getting that up close look at the storm helps the NHC give a more accurate forecast for a storm. Hurricane Joaquin was the focus and the hurricane hunters were able to return some important information on a storm that was already hammering parts of the Bahamas. It had actually gotten a little bit stronger as we were flying it. Um, so it was one of those we were trying to see help out as far as find out where it's going to be going, um, how strong it's going to be. And the storm strength was a sight to be seen. The hunters recorded max wind speeds within the storm to qualify it as a major hurricane. The lowest pressure was 938 millibars and 120 knots um, on the surface. And we were saying that's our strongest. 120 knots is almost the same as 140 mile per hour winds, making it a category four hurricane. With a storm this strong that is threatening more land, Master Sergeant Stagg says he expects several more missions into Joaquin until it starts curving back out to the northeast or goes over land and stays over land. But yeah, we'll be flying it over the next, next few days, definitely. In fact, another crew was preparing to fly out as this one landed. For the Raycom News Network, I'm Andrew Wilson. We're on your side with